hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today i'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite perfume like fragrances from bath and body works if anybody were to ask me hey what's a body spray from bath and body works that actually smells like a perfume that's going to give me the longevity of a perfume these are the ones that i would mention even though some of these have been discontinued i'm still going to mention them in the hopes that bath and body works brings them back or brings back something similar to them because these are just just goaded okay I love these and I know that there are so many other perfume like fragrances out there from Bath and Body Works that I could have mentioned we all know them we all love them but like I said I'm mentioning my top five so these are the ones that for me is no discussion about them like I love them I need them I want to have them so yeah we're just gonna jump straight into this video and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on these scents so the first one is definitely going to be Sensual Amber. This one took me by such surprise just due to the simple fact that when I smelled this, I was just like, why have I never had this in my collection before? Why did I not pick this up sooner? Yes, it was a um, retired fragrance, so it was only available online or if you were to go to the outlets, you could probably find this inside of the outlet. But I was just so upset with myself, like why did I never have this perfume like fragrance mist in my collection? Cause it's so beautiful. Beautiful. this is so feminine so womanly it's really sexy it is just the epitome of everything that you would want to smell like if you're wanting a perfume like fragrance from Bath and Body Works it's giving me warmth from the amber it's giving me floral it's giving me sexy grown woman it's giving me maturity it's giving me all of the things that I would want to look for this is just such a beautiful signature scent worthy fragrance you cannot go wrong with this one this one is great for every day like I said signature scent this one is great for special occasions this one is great for dates this one is great for going around your significant other like it really does not matter I feel like this fragrance can really go for so many different things because it's really gonna give you that class it's really gonna give you that wow factor and this one actually smells like flower bomb from victor and roth flower bomb is loved and appreciated by so many people it's literally a classic fragrance i remember the first time i smelled that perfume it was back in 2017 i believe when i was living in korea it was such a beautiful fragrance this one is just so classy so feminine and it would be a definite go-to if i have like any type of special occasions or anything like that or even like i said just every day if i want to smell amazing sensual amber is that girl okay so this next one this one is newer to my collection but i already know it's beating out so many other scents in my collection just because you guys know when i go for my scents i'm more of a fruity sweet type of person if it's a floral it definitely has to be more on the sweet side more on the fruity sweet side y'all this is gorgeous femininity in a bottle this is midnight pomegranate this one is so amazing i love me some midnight pomegranate from the first time i smelled it again this was a retired fragrance and i was just like why haven't i had this before and this is actually a fragrance i remember smelling like when i was younger i don't know my aunt might have had this one because she was a bath and body works fiend so i think that midnight pomegranate is absolutely amazing same as sensual amber this one is perfect for every day it definitely can be an everyday signature scent fragrance just because it has that perfuminess so this one would be great for if you're going into the office it would be great for if you're working from home it would be great for if you're in the military like me like it's a great feminine fragrance to wear every single day but then also you can take this to a formal event you could take this to a classy evening night out you could take this to a special event like whatever you have going on this fragrance is going to be that for you it's going to be that sweet perfume heavy hitter is going to turn heads it's definitely going to attract people have people asking what you're wearing it is just so beautiful so gorgeous it has this zingy sweet vibe like the pomegranate in this is so heavy and the top note is ruby red pomegranate when they say ruby red pomegranate they mean like the ripest pomegranate ever that's what this one is because it's just so juicy and it has that tartness like when i smell this i can literally picture biting into a pomegranate seed that's how potent and juicy this fragrance is okay and then we have sparkling cassis y'all know i love any type of wine champagne red currant berry type of scent like that really gives you like that sweet wine essence y'all know i love that okay so this definitely has that as well and then we have white jasmine i feel like that just gives it this fresh floral element and then we have blackberry spice and patchouli you can definitely smell the blackberry spice and the patchouli in this and i think that is what's giving this the longevity that it has because this lasts on you like a perfume it is literally so pretty it's such a heavy hitter it's gorgeous and everything that i love 
love in a fragrance mist that's supposed to smell like a perfume. This one is beautiful. So definitely and highly recommend Midnight Pomegranate. This next one, this one is a little bit more on the flirty, playful side, but it's still just as perfumey because it has a floral note in it that's kind of powdery. It's not like super duper heavy powdery at all. It's not baby powder. It's not makeup powder or anything like that, but it does have a floral note in it that is going to give it some elevated maturity. And that is Confetti Daydream. Love this scent. Love this scent so, so, so much. I just mentioned it in like my spring fragrance lineup. I like to mix this with Ariana Grande's Ari right here. Like I said, it's more on the playful, flirty side, but this is still so pretty. And yes, it does smell like a perfume to me. So this one is Fresh Raspberry Sparkling Pear and Blue Iris. So this one definitely has the raspberry in it. It for sure has this really fruity, sweet smell. A little bit tart, but not too much. It's not like the pomegranate in Midnight Pomegranate. It definitely has a um, more fruity, sweet element, but it's still a little bit tart. And then you have a Sparkling Pear, and that's giving it kind of a fresh element. Just a little bit, not, not much. The raspberry is definitely what you smell the most in here. And then you have Blue Iris. Like I said, Blue Iris, it kind of gives a powdery element to it, but it's not super Super duper powder at all you just would have to smell the scent to know what i mean but this one is super super duper nice so i would definitely wear this to a special occasion but i feel like this one is more so reserved for just every day just casual get togethers maybe even brunch and things like that because while it is mature and it definitely smells like a perfume i feel like in the evening time i would want something just a little bit heavier something like midnight pomegranate or sensual amber because if you guys smell this one in comparison to those, then you would feel like this one is more lighter and airier and fun. And that's why I put it in my spring fragrance mist lineup, just because it definitely has the essence of spring in it. Whenever I think of like fragrance mist that smell like perfumes in my collection, this is always one that I go to. So Confetti Daydream, definite one that I would recommend if you want a body mist that smells more like a perfume. Okay, and so this next one, y'all already know. Y'all already know what this is because I'm pretty sure if you guys were to do a top five, this one would be in your top five. Fairy tale, fairy tale, fairy tale, fairy tale. How many times have I mentioned this scent in my last few videos? Like, I think this has been in every damn video that I've made here recently. And I let you guys know that this scent has grown on me so much. I wore the scent the other day and I went light on it. I went light on it because I actually did mix it with my YSL Libre Intense. So I went light on the fragrance mist, but you guys, this is, it's grown on me so much. It is so, pretty so the reason why this is in my lineup is because y'all already know it smells like ysl libre period like this is definitely a dupe of ysl libre but even more so than that even if this didn't remind me of a high-end perfume or a designer perfume it just has the makings of a perfume in it they put all of the notes in here that complement each other so well to make a beautiful fragrance so pomegranate nectar I love my pomegranate. So it has a definite fruit nectar scent to it. So then we have fresh orange blossom. Orange blossom is just so pretty. Orange blossom really takes scents to a whole nother level. It really does give them some class. I mentioned that in my spring perfume lineup. Orange blossom is so pretty for spring. And then you have vanilla bean and warm amber. You can definitely smell the vanilla bean and the amber in here. It's just such a pretty wrap up of scent notes. It screams spring and fall to me. Actually. The description on the back of the bottle, it really hits it on the head for me. It says warm and fresh with a hint of magic. There is definitely something magical about this fragrance and the reason why it definitely grew on me so heavily, but I love this one. If I were to be asked, you know, or say, hey, I need a recommendation for a bomb body mist that's gonna smell like a perfume because I can't really afford to buy perfumes or I'm not really into perfumes like that, this would definitely be one of the top choices. It's undeniable and I have to mention it to everybody. And then the very last one, this is one that was for sure discontinued. It was discontinued right when they changed the season over from fall to winter. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry you guys, but maybe you can still find this one on Mercari or eBay or something like that. This is Ruby Apple and Rosewood. I've mentioned this one a lot as well. And I said that this was such a slept on fragrance, even by myself, even by myself, I was not going to get this one. But then when they had the $5.95 body care day sale, I decided to go ahead and snap it up just to see what it was about and I am mad I am mad at myself for sleeping 
on this fragrance. This is literally a sweet perfume scent. It has a bit of an edge to it, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing that's just going to be too edgy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just good. This is just so, they did great with this scent. So it's Gala Apple. You definitely smell the apple in here. It's kind of a sweet apple. It's a little bit fresh, but it's mostly a sweet apple. And then you have Autumn Peony. So the peony in this just makes it pretty. Peonies are just nice. Just think of super soft, delicate flowers and that's what the peony in this smells like it's really feminine and pretty effortless and then you have soft suede an unexpected note but it really rounds everything out in this fragrance it's very very unexpected and that's why i say the edge comes from in this but it's not overdone and it's not heavy at all it's not too much and it doesn't change the actual femininity of this fragrance to make it into like something really masculine this is so so pretty and I have to recommend it just because I'm hoping that they come out with something similar to this like eventually I have mixed this with a couple of my perfumes in my collection and it just always does what it needs to do okay I don't even have to mix this with any perfumes but it does what it needs to do Ugh, I'm smelling it again it's such a nice reach fragrance again this one is definitely for every single day signature scent worthy spring summer fall winter everything it is gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous smelling it the apple in this almost kind of gives it an apple juice factor because it's so sweet that gala apple in this is so sweet but then again the peony just makes it soft and delicate and the suede the suede in this just ultimately pretty it is no other way for me to describe this scent except for ultimately pretty i just highly 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 recommend this and i've even had some people when i've mentioned this fragrance comment down in the comment section saying yes that this was very well slept on and it shouldn't have been and that is going to round up my top perfume like fragrances from bath and body works these are my tried and true these are my faves these are the ones that really resonate with me when i think of what would classify as a fragrance Smith that smells like a perfume in my opinion these are the ones that I would definitely recommend as far as smelling like a perfume performing like a perfume and just giving you that vibe of a perfume these are the ones that I would go with so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and if you have any of these let me know down in the comments if you feel the same way and then you can also leave your recommendations for more perfume like scents from Bath and Body Works of course I know I have a ton of other ones but like I said this was my top five so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up if you're a new sis thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace